Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video I'm going to answer the question, how much does Instagram advertising cost? So when it comes to Instagram advertising cost or any other forms of cost when it comes to, to online marketing, there are various different ways you can look at them. I'm going to sort of cover three. So the first is CPC, cost per click. So how much does it cost you to generate a click through your Instagram ad? Um, the second is CPM. That's cost per thousand impressions. So how much is it costing you to advertise on Instagram based on a per thousand impression basis? And the third is CPA, which is cost per action. Now that action can be used to refer to cost per lead, cost per purchase, whatever it is that you happen to be tracking for your business. Um, so I'm going to go through each one of those. Now, the first is cost per click. So the, the, the difficulty with tracking that metric and me giving you an answer on that and how much does Instagram advertising cost, how much does it cost to generate a click, is that that will vary massively depending on your business. So we're advertising a dog-related business right now. We've got very cute images of puppies and things like that. They generate a very, very, very inexpensive cost per click. In the UK, we're generating clicks for perhaps 10, 11 pence, something like that, which is very inexpensive. Um, whereas if we advertise a financial services business, the cost per click might be closer to two pounds, might be 20 times that. So again, your cost per click is going to, is going to be determined massively by the industry that you're in. Um, I think that CPM is the most interesting metric. That's the one that I tend to focus on most when I'm thinking of how much does this cost? How much does this cost in terms of what it cost last year? Because CPC cost per click is so dependent on what an individual advertiser does. CPM is more of a, a fixed cost. This is how much it costs to get a thousand impressions on Instagram to this target audience. And that's going to stay relatively stable. So what I thought I'd do is I'd, I'd go into um, an example Facebook ad account. We're going to take a look at a campaign. And we're going to take a look at the cost by placement. I'm going to compare it to the cost of Facebook advertising. Um, now, what you're looking at right now, if you're not familiar with this, is ads manager within Facebook. Most Instagram ad campaigns are created within Facebook ads manager. So Facebook owns Instagram and... Um, the easiest way, the most effective way to advertise on Instagram is through Facebook Ads Manager. I know you can promote stuff directly within Instagram now, but um, but that's what you're looking at. That's where I'd recommend you run your Instagram advertising campaigns from. So this campaign that you're seeing here, like most of the campaigns that we run, we've advertised on both Facebook and Instagram. Um, there's not really a disadvantage to advertising on both. You may want to customize your ad creatives, your imagery and things like that for each individual platform. Absolutely fine. You can do that easily. Um, but why wouldn't you want to advertise on both? I speak to a lot of people that say, our oh, people don't use Facebook anymore, they just use Instagram. That's absolutely not true. That might be the case in your demographic, but the UK has twice as many Facebook users as, as, uh, as uh, Instagram users. The US has twice as many uh, Facebook users as Instagram users. And worldwide, there's about four times as many Facebook users as there are Instagram users. So don't ignore Facebook if you come to this video just thinking you're going to advertise on Instagram. With that said, you may find that Instagram produces better results for you. And I'm going to show you exactly how you find that out right now. And Instagram ads and advertising on Instagram tends to work really well for um, you know, fashion-based businesses, food-based things, things that are very visual as, uh, as you'd imagine, because that's really what the platform's designed for. So this um, particular ad campaign we're looking at was a lead generation campaign. So we're looking to generate leads for a client of ours. Can't talk too much about the, the business, obviously. And we advertised across a number of different placements. So when you're inside your Facebook ad account, if you want to see the results that you got by placement, you can just come here where it says breakdown. You can click on this and you can actually take a look at a number of different sections. So you can have a look at your results by age, gender, etc. If you scroll down and go ahead and click placement, you, know, you can even do time of day, all sorts of things. But placement is obviously what we're focusing on for this video. And that's what I've brought up. So this campaign generated a total of 204 leads. This was a lead generation campaign. So that's where you generate your Facebook leads on Facebook. You don't direct send them off to your website. I will um, include a link in the video description to another video where I've showed you how to create Facebook lead generation campaign. So if you're wondering, you know, how do they work? Go ahead and check that out. So campaign performed very, very well. We, um, it's a local based business. So our, our audience was relatively small, uh, but we generated leads for £7.31 each. This company's average customer value is above £30,000. So um, they were very, very happy with that lead cost. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, how much we spent? We spent roughly £1,500 on this campaign. So a reasonable amount to, to include some data from. So you see that the vast majority of the budget has been spent on the mobile news feed on Facebook and also the mobile feed on Instagram, which is very common. That's exactly what we expect. 
there's some, you know, some money's been spent on these other placements here, but you can more or less ignore them when you're looking to focus on, um, you know, when you're looking to, to focus on the different placements and see which one you want to adjust and things like that, where the, the improvements are going to be made. It's going to be the ones where you're spending the most money. So the first thing we'll look at, because it's right in front of us, is cost per result. So you can see that Instagram here delivered um, leads for £6.33 and Facebook delivered leads for £8.10. Now, a year ago, Instagram audiences didn't seem very keen to take action, uh, become a lead um, when you advertise to them. So what you often saw was that most people, like myself included, would advertise, would recommend just advertising on Facebook uh, newsfeed. But that's definitely changed. I think there's a lot more ads on Instagram now. People are a lot more familiar with the process. So it's less alien to them. They're more likely to take the action. So what we can immediately see is that Instagram has delivered a lower cost per conversion, which is, you know, your CPA metric, cost per result, than Facebook, which is fantastic. So we might come into this campaign and we might switch off the Facebook newsfeed as a placement option and just go with Instagram. And we are seeing this more and more and more. So if you're really tracking CPA, so in this case, cost per lead or maybe cost per purchase, depending on your business, you might find a lower cost per lead with something like Instagram. In this case, £6.33, which is fantastic. Do bear in mind though, that as I said, there's still more activity on Facebook. So whilst you might generate lower cost per lead on Instagram, uh, your volume is going to be lower. That's why I'd recommend you advertise on both. So that's exactly what we saw here. If we didn't have Facebook as an option, Facebook newsfeed, look, that delivered almost half of our leads in the mobile newsfeed on Facebook. So we wouldn't want to switch that off because we don't want to reduce the volume, uh, particularly with a, a relatively small local-based business like this one. Okay, so that's the first metric to look at is obviously um, CPA. As I mentioned, that's not so useful because that's going to 100% depend on the business that you operate with. We have some businesses that need a CPA of less than $2, some even closer to $1. Uh, and we have some that are happy for cost per lead to be anywhere up to about £200. Uh, it just really depends on the business, how much customers are worth to you and all that sort of stuff. But let's have a look at um, cost per thousand impressions, CPM. So as I said, this is what I think of when I think about the cost of advertising. How much does it cost me to put my ad uh, to get a thousand views on my ad? So you can see here that there's a much larger difference between CPM, between the Instagram uh, mobile feed and the Facebook mobile feed. Um, so we're looking at £8.85 for Instagram and £13.27 for Facebook. Now, part of the reason for that is because, as I said, people like me have been recommending just advertising on Facebook for many, many years. So a lot of advertisers just stick to Facebook. And the other part of the reason is that Instagram audiences, person for person, are generally less valuable, particularly if you're not in a very visual industry. Um, so advertisers are willing to pay more to reach Facebook audiences. And we can see that within this campaign. So even though Facebook audiences are 50% more expensive to advertise to, their lead cost, if I can scroll over to it, is not 50% more. It's about, what's that, 20% more, something along those lines, maybe slightly more than that, 30% more. Um, so person for person, Facebook users are slightly more valuable to this business, and they are to most. But it is interesting to note that these are your sort of CPM numbers can be very differently. So when you're thinking about, you know, what is the cost of Instagram advertising, I would think in terms of thousand impressions. And what I would say is it's going to vary massively depending on your location. So this business is based near London. It's a very expensive part of the UK. Um, so their CPMs for Instagram, £8.85, that's quite high. Uh, a CPM on Facebook of £13.27 is also quite high. I would say that in 2019, the average CPM for Facebook, you're probably looking at about eight, nine pounds in the UK. And the average CPM for Instagram, you're probably looking around about the five to six pound mark. Again, that's going to vary depending on your industry. That's going to vary depending on your location big time. The US is significantly more expensive, probably double those prices. Um, other countries, obviously, particularly, you know, uh, you know, African countries, India, places like that are much, much uh, less expensive. Um, but that when you're thinking about, OK, I want to know how much Instagram advertising costs. I would think in terms of CPMs, how many people do you need to reach to get your desired result? OK, so I need to advertise to 100,000 people because I know that, you know, 1% of those, uh, which would be 1,000, um, are going to buy my product, which costs £25. And therefore, I would generate uh, £25,000 worth of revenue from this campaign. 
and then you can work it out. Okay, so if the CPM is going to be six pounds, so to reach hundred thousand people, it's going to cost you know um, six thousand pounds. I just I think I've got that math right, but I'm doing it off, off the top of my head. Um, so that's the sort of logic that you might need to to run through um, in order to establish how much it's going to cost you. It's all based around CPM. Now, obviously, we do have the cost per um, click, cost per link click data here, and you can see that again a Facebook click. £1.14 was a bit more expensive than an Instagram click, 95p, which is shown in the click-through rate, 1.16, 0.03. And again, that's just because Facebook audiences are still more likely to click on an ad and take an action than Instagram ad audiences are. So my recommendation would be when you're running your Instagram ad campaigns, run them on Facebook as well. There's absolutely no reason not to do so. Facebook will probably be more expensive, but may deliver the volume. If you've got broad audiences, you're advertising nationwide, something like that, you absolutely can switch off Facebook and just go with Instagram advertising. That might deliver a better cost for you. Always focus on the data. And then once you've run a campaign for a couple of days, you will see a CPM for your industry. You want to come in, take a look at this, exactly how I've done, how I've showed you using the breakdown placement, work out what your CPM is, and that will allow you to work out your Instagram advertising cost because you can go right. One in, a, you know, one in 100 people does X, we need to reach 10,000 people, how much is that going to cost us? And that's how you go about making those, uh, those calculations. Okay, hopefully this video has been useful. Um, if it has, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Facebook and Instagram advertising content. I release videos all the time. And one thing I will quickly mention before you go is my five part Facebook ad template. Now, obviously these ads can be used on Facebook. They can also be used on Instagram. And this template includes um, six ads that we've created for our clients in a number of different industries that all show very different products. They've all performed fantastically well in live Facebook and Instagram advertising campaigns. So if you want to, if you're struggling to think, how do I create my Instagram ads now that you know how much it's going to cost you, go ahead and download that free five part Facebook ad template. All you got to do is click on the link in the video description below. That will take you to my website and you'll be able to download it there, as I said, uh, for free. You should find it really useful. You can obviously model from those ads, help improve your performance, which is what I'm all about. Thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.